This open field along Brown Deer Road may not seem like a battleground for a heated controversy, but judging by the many roadside signs that have sprung up around River Hills, that's exactly what it's become. There's nothing to stop it once it's started. Longtime resident Sue Dolinar says the possibility of a new large-scale apartment complex has led to this local campaign, SaveRiverHills.com. Does River Hills need saving? Yes, because I don't want an apartment next to me. River Hills is one of Wisconsin's wealthiest communities, and it currently has no commercial development, only schools, churches, and single-family homes on five acres or more. Even the village website proudly boasts no businesses. River Hills is a very unique community. Yes, it is, and we want to keep it unique and just the way it is. Village manager Chris Lear says an apartment development would require a zoning change, something he says most residents oppose. Out of 100 people I've talked to, 98 have come out against it. Not everyone here thinks River Hills needs saving. We did talk to some residents who said they were fine with development there, but they wouldn't say it on camera. In fact, we found people on both sides reluctant to talk about it. Maybe because there hasn't been any formal proposal presented to the village yet. But that hasn't stopped residents from fighting. Why worry about it if there's no proposal? Because it's going to come up and bite us in the butt. Now, the Mandel Group is the developer that uh, first floated this idea almost a year ago. We reached out to them today, but they did not respond to our request for comment, Joyce. So, Kent, to be clear, this is a preemptive strike because there's not even any kind of proposal, correct? Yeah, right. No proposal has made its way to the uh, village board yet. The board does meet next week. It's not on their agenda, but the village manager tells me he expects that there will be residents there to sound off about it. Kent Wayne Scott reporting from River Hills. Thank you.